All right, so we're gonna learn how to create a camera and how to scale its icon the correct way. So I'm gonna go to create and I'm gonna go to cameras and I'm gonna select a camera and aim. And notice that once I create this camera, it is borderline microscopic. That is because I have set my scene units to world units. So I'm working in centimeters. However, I switched my grid if I go to the grid icon, right mouse button, and I click on grid options, you will notice that I've set these specific numbers. These numbers correspond to this quadrant right here, from here to here, to here, to here. That's how the grid options work. As soon as we modify one quadrant, the other ones get modified. So what I did, I made sure that each quadrant is three foot by three foot. But because I'm working in centimeters, I had to switch my inches to centimeters. Length and width has to do with the size of the quadrant. Grid every lines has to do with these divisions right here. So by setting my length and width to 91.44 centimeters, that is the equivalent to three feet. And then my grid every line is set to 30.48 centimeters, which is equivalent to one foot. I do have a video on how to create this grid option so that your scene is set to world units. If I select my measurement groups, I've created a couple of measurements, you can see that each side of my grid is set to 182.88 centimeters. So it's six foot by six foot by six foot. I do have this object right here. It's a six foot average mill. And when I select the measurements, you can see that the average height is 182.89 centimeters or six feet. So going back to our camera, if I open the camera one group, that is my camera and aim, and I select my camera one, I'm going to rename it by double clicking on the name render cam. You will notice that the size of the camera, it's very small because if you work with the standard Maya scene without modifying your grid, the camera will be up to scale. However, because I've switched my scene to world units, my camera is microscopic. Now we have to enlarge the icon. What a lot of people do is that they go to the channel box and they select the scale X, Y, and Z, and then they put in a number right here where they can see the camera. This is the incorrect way of scaling your camera icon. What happens when you do this is that you're modifying many attributes of the camera, such as the focal length, fog, and so on, so if you modify the scale of the camera itself, you're gonna mess with those specific attributes. Now, the correct way of doing this, let me reset the scales to one, is to have the camera selected. You can do that in the outliner. And then go into the attribute editor. We don't wanna go to the actual camera, but it's camera shape. So I'm gonna select on render cam shape. And as you can see, these are all the attributes for this camera. We are going to scroll down all the way to object display. We're gonna open it. And this is the correct place to change the size of the icon of the camera. So for the locator scale, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type in 20, hit enter, and as you can see now, we can see the camera. This is the correct way of enlarging the icon of the camera, not the camera itself.